hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we will be talking about the interview anxiety or the nervousness we face while giving interview or before the interview this is very common problem and this happens with almost every one of us so this is very important for me to address this okay so in this video we'll be talking about the things to do things not to do what are your friends what are your enemies when you are preparing for the interview or you have an interview to give and you are facing this nervousness first uh, first thing first this is very common this is very common to have the anxiety and nervousness this happens with everybody especially when you are new or when you have let's say let's say less than 3 years of experience this is very common because we have not given so many interviews we are not aware um, and our mind is built in such a way this this mind works in such a way that it always talks or thinks about the negative thing first see the the role of our mind is to protect us and whenever we give interview then it kind of gives us signal that okay this is an uncomfortable situation and will start giving you hints about all the negative things so first Thing which we have to take care of is that the overthinking we need not to overthink whenever we have to give the interview okay I'll, I'll give you my example how common this is uh, just to tell you how common it is I'll give you my example so when I had around three years of experience and I needed to give an interview and when I got to know that interviewer will be asking me to write trigger and I was not very comfortable, I was not confident on trigger, I did not even join the call. I once joined an interview, an interviewer asked me to write a trigger, I was blank and I disconnected the call. So this happens with all of us and that is why I know that how common it is. Okay. So it is very important for you to understand in this whole process, what are the things which you have to do and what are the things which you need to avoid first we will be talking about the things which you have to do okay first thing your your best friend in this whole process is the preparation how well prepared you are how well prepared you are for those scenarios for those triggers for those interview questions for your introduction it is okay uh, to even script your introduction when you are new it is very important to start the interview in the positive direction in the positive manner and introduction is very important so it is okay even to script your introduction and rehearse it rehearse it with your friends rehearse it with your family members rehearse it with your mentors but uh, try to start it on a very positive manner and your preparation is your best friend in this whole process okay we have to talk to ourselves in very positive manner See, your mind will keep on give you, giving you hints about so many negative things. What if that other person will judge you? What if you are not able to even write the trigger? What if you are not able to even answer the single small question? You will have to shut those thoughts and you will have to start positive self-talking. When you talk yourself, talk to yourself positively, that is you know stimulates the process then you will start getting the positive vibes okay positive affirmations are very important and there is no one better than you yourself giving yourself a positive affirmation okay practice third thing is the practice practice is very important during the whole of interview process like before the real interview you can you can have the group of those similar people who are in the same boat or preparing for the interview or you can also give mock interviews if you don't know if you uh, are not sure about your uh, practice you can give mock interviews there are so many mentors who take mock interviews and you can give them mock interviews even your friends also like who are on the similar board or more experienced than you you can give mock interviews that is very uh, very important okay uh, on the day of your interview you have to uh, you have to feel the energy you have to be energetic you have to feel confidence just just before the interview let's say you have your interview at 10 a.m shut down everything by by 8 uh, 8 a.m do not think about technical stuff just just stay away from any technical stuff just focus on giving yourself positivity giving or doing the things which enhances your mood which 
tells you or which you know give you confidence do not think about the technical stuff okay and during the interview you have to make sure that you are talking thoroughly you are you are smiling you are interacting with the interviewer it's okay to start on the nervous note but once you are done with your introduction you will get some confidence and then continue that momentum okay so these are the things you'll have to uh, you will have to uh, do or these are the things which are your friend in this whole process now what are the negative thing i already told you the number one enemy in these kind of situation is overthinking we need to avoid overthinking because that is the biggest enemy in this whole process you mind you yourself we we often hear that quote that you are your your own enemy that that literally is true in most of the situation okay second major enemy is lack of preparation so if you are not prepared well and you go for interview let's say you you are going for lwc developer role and you have you are not prepared at all on lwc you are destined to fail okay so in that case you your lack of preparation is the reason of your failure and um, competition obviously is very high so you cannot let the lack of preparation uh, be a hindrance in your interview selection process so prepare well of course okay do not talk to yourself negatively negative thoughts obviously will come it's it's human mind it's nature that mind will try to protect you but try to block those thoughts try to feel that you are you are deserving candidate for this role you have prepared well for this job and you deserve this you will definitely get it trust on your preparation and once you trust on your preparation those negative thoughts will automatically go away okay uh do not do not have unrealistic expectation from those interviews as well uh sometimes what happens is that uh, we set overly high expectation okay and sometimes we kind of create pressure on ourselves we set so high expectation that i'm going to uh, like i'll be able to answer 100% of the questions correctly and even if there is one question which you are not able to answer you will become anxious you will become very nervous about it you will feel that oh, okay because of that one question you will not get selected and because of that pressure built by that negativity you might not be able to perform better in even in the questions which you knew very well so avoid setting the overly high expectation or avoid uh, creating the pressure within yourself let's say if you're not able to answer something it's okay move on take the uh, do not let the pressure of your current question pass on to the next question if you're not able to answer this it's okay let's move on to let's jump on to the next question let's see what it is and let's try to tackle that okay do not do not do that so by focusing on your friends like the points you have to take care of and by uh, uh, by uh, avoiding the situations or all the negative things or you can say enemies you might uh, obviously there will be some anxiety some anxiety is okay some nervousness is okay try to take it in a positive manner and try to push yourself uh, in, a neg- in in a positive manner but do not overthink about it okay i hope this i hope you will find this helpful do let me know if you have any query if you want to add points feel free to add those points in the comments and i'll see you in the next video thank you